How the hell do you measure nonprofit impact? This is going to be a crash course in how to think about this question. Define the intended impact you want your organization to have with a sort of how, what, and who. How does your organization define success? What does it literally look like? Be specific. What? What do you define as success for your organization and how is that being measured? And finally, who? Who the hell are we trying to help? Be specific. Talk about the audience. Talk about their hair color. And again, be specific. First bucket, purpose and intent. What is the purpose of your organization? Are you trying to end hunger in America? Are you trying to end violence against women? What is the purpose of your organization and make it a purpose statement. Think about like what is the need in society that drove the creation of your organization? What is the long-term tangible goal? Now I'm not talking about vision statements. We're being very practical about the purpose statement that will then be broken down into the goals we want to hit. Bucket two, outcomes and indicators. We need to define the outcomes that are going to lead to that change we want to see. Outline the key indicators that are going to lead to this change. Like, look, warning, this is not easy. Sometimes you need to look at previous research to make sure that, you know what, the indicators we have are in fact valid. So if you're working on, let's say, bringing art education to schools, you better have some research backing up the fact that it's a good thing, I know this is crazy, that it's a good thing to offer children in early childhood development art curricula because it improves their creativity, which by the way, is becoming the number one thing that people are looking for in the job market. You need to tie that together and get to these indicators. Impact indicators need to be specific, understandable, and measurable. Think about it in that context. Continuing on, look, I already said it, they need to be actionable. If you can't do anything about this indicator, like the weather, we want to change the weather, well, God bless you. That may be an indicator. You can't control that. You can't really change it. Then we need to make sure that they are relevant to the topic, that they're time bound. How much time are we doing this? Is this like for infinity, like we're going to forever, like, like a Sisyphean effort, push this rock up a hill? Or do we have a certain amount of time to get this done or X percent of this done? Set those limits. Be bold. Bucket three, track impact indicators over time. Starting with like, what are the measures? Like how are we literally going about counting out there? Are we sending somebody in the field being like, all right, we helped one person, two, like, Think about the qualitative and quantitative measures you want to get after. Are we doing an annual survey of people that's literally like asking a sample size? Are we looking at what Whole Whale does a lot is like Google Analytics and looking at web analytics as predictive measures? Are we looking for the number of, let's say, teens that are signing up and then creating poetry as a leading indicator for literacy? More teens creating more poems, as we can measure in the short term, means that we're going to get better literacy and emotional expression for teenagers across the country. So think about the ways you want to measure. Next, think about how frequently we need to look at these measures. I know what you're going to do right now. You run off and this happens every time. You run off and you create this like long list of like, we're going to track everything under the sun and we're going to track it every day and it's going to be great. You do it for two weeks and you're like, oh yeah, remember that spreadsheet of all that stuff we were going to track? What happened to that? Don't, don't be that guy or girl. What you need to think about is what is the frequency we need this information? Do we need it daily, weekly, monthly? annually. Imagine you were driving to grandmother's house. Uh, you're driving there and do you really need to know like your Twitter reach at the time? Do you really need to know the like how many uh, people you've served over the past year in that very moment? No, you need to know how fast you're going. What is your pace right now? How many miles per hour are you going so you know you don't get a speeding ticket or you're not driving dangerously? Because if you drive this fast at the speed limit, you're going to get there. If you know how much gas you have left, Boom, that's the critical measure you need like real time, but you don't need all of your metrics real time. Think about the frequency you want to get some of this information, especially if it costs a ton of money. The most important question might actually be at the end of the day is, who's in charge of this stuff? Who's tracking this stuff? Who's like making sure we're like trains running on time? If I were starting a nonprofit like today, on my core team, I would have a data analyst, the culture carrier of making sure the work we are doing matters. Because if it doesn't matter, why are we doing all this work? What's more, the data that is available, the predictive analytics that we even see on the web can really inform like 2x, 3x, 4xing our work in the long run. 
That's why we're in this game. We have to take this seriously. And just having like a giant document that's like, here's our mission, vision, and purpose, we revisit it annually, like that's pretty weak. We care about tracking impact so we can do more of it. We covered three big buckets, purpose and intent, the outcomes and indicators, and then finally tracking stuff over time. All of these things matter, but again, this was, this was a crash course on a very important topic. Go to wholewhale.com slash impact to get more information on this topic. And at least, you know, now you know what you don't know, you know?